What's up, everybody, man? It's your host, Dub Q, and I'd like to welcome you guys to the Black Cat Panther Podcast, man. Make no mistake about it. Look, you are in the right place, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Show that love. You already know what time it is. Look, you see the topic. Can our guy, ooh, take it to the next level? Can he go to the all-pro? Look, I was so excited to do this video one because I'm a huge Frankie Louvu fan. Look, after coming off one of the best seasons what he had last year, Frankie Louvu was nothing short of amazing. I have to say, man, shout out to that guy for being single-handedly one of the best players on our defense last year. One of the main guys that was really keeping us into the thing. And let's just be real, man. Frankie Louvu is that guy. I'm proud to be able to call this guy a leader of our defense. And uh, without further ado, like I said, Frankie Louvu is, is just a dog. So, enough of the fan guy. In this guy right here, the six foot three pro, coming out of Washington State that's been with the Panthers, man. He racked up a, a, a grand total of 87 solo tackles last year. Uh, look, one interception, one forced fumble. The guy also had seven sacks on the season. You can see it right here. Pro football focus don't lie. You already know what time it is seven sacks on the season as our outside linebacker he played a little bit in the middle last year i just want to know can this guy with all the tools that he has look one year one, one game last year he had over 15 tackles one interception one defensive touchdown this guy was electric last year and i'm telling you man frankie louvu i saw so many flashes of greatness in him I'm under the impression that, you know, going forward for this campaign right here, we need Frankie Louvu to bring his best version for the Panthers to be successful and great on defense. And I say that to say, and going forward, Frankie Louvu is a guy that in the right place at the right time, in his defense last year with not that many weapons, not that many guys that were around, he still thrived, he still got to the football, he still made plays. He is a playmaker. And make no mistake about it, this guy is here to play. And look, what an improved defense with now all these defensive big bodies that we have on this defensive tackle line. Look, Evero is going to be moving Frankie Louvu around, and he's going to go. Like I said, I said in one of my videos that I expect Frankie Louvu to fully hit double-digit sacks this year. And I really do believe that um, because of the way that Evero could potentially position him in this defense having him coming off that edge as that outside linebacker you know they said that he's going to play a little bit of in the middle this year as well so it's intriguing to see how do they dial things up for him where they send him on a lot of blitzes whatever they do with all these bodies in here that's in front of him the big bodies are going to be clogging up the running lanes this guy's going to be going sideline to sideline to be out there and i'm talking about eating i am so excited about it man because Frankie Louvu's value to this team. Look, you can't put a price on what he brings to this team, man. It's the energy. It's the enthusiasm. It's the, I know I'm going to do my role, my job, and I'm better than the next man in front of me. And I'm going to I'm going to show them that I'm better than the next man in front of me because everybody has counted me out. This guy has all the tools to be great. And I'm telling you right now, this year will be, and you can mark my words for it, this will be a all pro year for Frankie Louvu. Can he ascend to it? Yes, I do believe that he can. He has all the tools necessary to be an all pro. Look, we're going to watch those 87 tackles go to 100 tackles a solo. Look, this is the year for him to do it. I think his assisted tackles will be around 140, 150. I think that'll be really good for Frankie Louvu because in this system, hopefully they move him around a lot, but he'll be around swarming to the football every chance he gets. And so I really do believe that Evero is going to have his marks all over this defense. And Frankie Louvu is going to be the first guy that he starts with. I know that he said that he really got excited at the thought of working with Jeremy Chin. Well, he's going to be even more excited about having this guy that was a potential shun last year when it comes to the Pro Bowls. This guy was a star on his defense up until he got hurt. And then he missed a couple of games, but he still even in his absence, was able to notch 87 tackles. Like I said, forced fumble. Look, defensive touchdowns, seven sacks. This guy could have easily had double-digit sacks last year. 
That's just how real Frankie Louvu is coming off that corner. I believe in the ooze. I know you guys need to believe in the ooze. And look at here. If you believe in the ooze, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, man. Show that love. Your boy Dub Q is in the building, man. You don't want to miss anything else, man. Frankie Louvu is here and he ain't going nowhere. Thank you.